Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel um, here at Crypto Nation. Hey, um, just want to say thanks to all my recently new subscribers. If you subscribe, it's totally free. Hit the like button uh, for post notifications. And thanks again to my recently uh, new subscribers. And uh, also, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you to buy, hold, or sell any crypto asset whatsoever. We got to do our own research in this crypto bull run. But just remember, this will be a utility-based run. So make sure you're in the crypto. It's only can, you know, pretty much, you know, tell you and show you what I'm doing. And just remember, as crypto YouTubers, we're we're literally, you know, mostly, you know, um, entertainers. So you got to take it as such. You got to do your own research. Never take financial advice from a in any crypto YouTuber. Uh, you know, you can, you know, follow what we're saying. You can, you know, pay attention to what we're saying. Like I said, you know, we're entertainers, but at the same time, do your own research. But, you know, me personally, I try to give you guys the best information as possible on, you know, on different projects. Uh, but anyways, um, let's get right on to it. Uh, yeah, so Bitcoin is at 65,000. Uh, it, it, my last video that I did earlier this morning, it was, it was around 64. Now it jumped up about, well, I'll say about close to 1,000. And Ethereum is at, it's, Look like Ethereum is trying to hit that 3,000 again. Uh, so they're both trying to recover. Uh, maybe this is going to be the major pump that they were talking about, you know, with Bitcoin. Uh, but we'll see. It's back to 65 as of right now. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to do an update on uh, Jasmine about, uh, you know, they're saying that it, Jasmine recently got put in the, in the list for the ISO 222 or the ISO 222 compliant. It, uh, now, even me, there was a time I really didn't understand what the whole ISO 2022 compliant or what was it all about or whatever. Uh, but, you know, come to find out, ISO 22 is for like about, you know, cross-border. When you talk about the whole cross-border payments, the global, you know, the global financial system. And this is big. You know, when you talk about the, like enterprise applications and, and what corporations and businesses are using. So just the, cause I'm not going to have time to read all this information. Uh, like I said, it's always you got to always go do your own research and everything and read. But I can go over some of the basics. Uh, OK, so let me see here. So to make a long story short, the, the financial global system they use was called SWIFT, uh, not the SWFT SWIFT with the cross chain swaps, you know, uh, but, you know, but SWIFT, the SWIFT, you know, that, that's what the global financial system use, you know, for cross border payments as of right now. They've been using that for, you know, for many years uh, It's swift. And uh, let, let me see. Let me scroll down to. Uh, and and basically, to make a long story short, ISO 2022, 222 compliant uh, over time by 2025, 26, they're going to uh, eventually they're going to be replacing swift, you know, with this new global financial cross-border payment system, you know, called, you know, the ISO 222 and a lot of cryptos are are getting in compliant with it like you know we like of course xrp um xlm um um there's another one um x uh x x d c x d x d c and different other um all go all these different other you know uh crypto projects that are iso 222 compliant now the fact that they're saying that jasmine is now compliant this is going to be you know this is going to be big we, 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 even though jasmine it's, it's a it's a web three project with data decentralization and everything the fact that they're also going to be possibly tapping into this is be big so now you have web three deep in ai um and everything uh what else um uh, uh decentralization of data and all that you know they're also and now they're tapping into the whole cross-border payments uh so so this is what the the global system is going to be, I guess, migrating to. They're going to be migrating to this new one. I guess it's supposed to be like, I guess, faster than than Swift, uh, allegedly. You know, I don't know. You know, there's people who can who can who, who's even more technical than I am about it. Um, so here I can go over some of the information here. The ISO 222 crypto list is a collection of compliant digital coins and tokens that satisfy the standards of international organization uh, for standardization, um, ISO standards 222. Uh, many cryptocurrencies will be integrated into the new financial system called the ISO 222 compliant cryptocurrencies. Uh, there is much speculation these uh, cryptocurrencies will soar in price once the standard is implemented. Uh, digital token uh, identifiers 
uh, DTIS are identifier numbers or symbols representing digital currencies. The main problem with transaction and digital currencies is that they don't have identifiers that banks can use to, to uh, differentiate token transactions. Okay, all right. So uh, for example, a bank program could easily tell the difference between um, USD and AUD, but this is more difficult for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Okay, ISO International Organization for Standardization uh, is a non-governmental global organization uh, based in Geneva, Switzerland, ISO, uh, excuse me, Switzerland period. Okay, ISO develops international standards for um, industrial, uh, commercial, and uh, proprietary use. If an ISO standard is established, virtually all financial institutions worldwide adopt it, will adopt it. Okay, an ISO code for Bitcoin BTC could facilitate global mainstream adoption more than any other action. So this is big, guys. You, you know, this whole ISO, see, SWIFT is the old system, you know, with, you know, with like, you know, with global currencies and cross-border payments and all that. So with the whole, now with, with the ISO, what they're doing is they're now implementing digital digital currencies now because you know that you know we know that cryptocurrency is is still an emerging market right it's still an emerging market so the fact that they're going to put digital cryptocurrency is going is going to be part of the whole you know global globalization of like you know of the uh, cross border payments so they're going to be eventually like i said they're going to be migrating from the old system of swift and using the iso compliant so now you're going to have everything for us, whether you're like, like we heard of like Forex and all that with, you know, with currencies, like originally like Forex was back in the day. I read about Forex. That was mostly like with banks, only banks was trading currencies. But now, you know, regular people can trade currencies with like, you know, with, you know, in Forex and Forex. That's like a way Forex is a multi. That's like a yeah, that's like a two point two trillion. No, excuse me. That's a um I think that's a let me see here. I think the forex market is a is about a uh a two hundred a two hundred something trillion market cap, you know, for for global forex trading. That's like over a two hundred trillion, you know, market cap. This that's already big. That's like the biggest market in the world, you know, forex. But 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 back in the day, only banks did forex, you know, but now they have it where you know, regular retail investors can get into Forex and, you know, for, but that's a whole nother thing. Forex is a big, you know, that's a, you know, like I said, that's a totally big market, you know, but, but now with the whole ISO standards, now, now, now they're, they're implementing digital currencies into this whole, you know, banking, global banking system, you know, just to make a long story short, you know, I can't, I won't be able to go over everything in this whole video, but I'm just trying to cover, you know, the basics. And then right here it says, what are ISO standards? Uh, understanding the um, the in, the intricacies of ISO standards uh, is crucial for businesses, professionals, and stakeholders in various industries. These internationally uh, recognized guidelines established by international organization for uh, standardization dictate quality, efficiency, and safety in both products and services worldwide. Uh, grasping what these standards um, entail and how they influence different uh, sectors can provide a competitive edge ensuring compliance and fostering trust among customers, excuse me, consumers and partners. Okay, right here it says guaranteeing quality and safety across industries. Uh, uh, okay, patronizing environmental conscience. Okay. Okay, so number one, it says ISO standards serve as a seal of assurance, enabling companies uh, to demonstrate uh, that their products meet uh, rigorous standards for quality and safety. Uh, for example, widely recognized standards like ISO 901 for quality management uh, systems uh, signify a company's commitment to deliver, excuse me, to delivering consistent uh, quality, thereby building consumer trust and credibility, okay? Then right here it says, okay, patronizing environmental uh, consensus, 
okay, with global shift towards environmental. Okay, they talk about more stuff here. Like I said, I ain't gonna have time to go over all this. It's, this, you know, it's a lot of information. This whole ISO 22 is all, you know, with the, the, glo the, the new global banking system they're gonna be doing. It's so much information that will take me about to go over all this information. Literally take me over an hour. Of course, this is not going to be an hour video, right? <laughs> this will be maybe a 15 minute video at, at most, maybe a little bit longer. But anyways, uh, then it says harmonizing international uh, compatibility and intro interoperability. OK, uh, streaming global trade practices, you know, uh, says ISO standards create a common language in international trade, uh, facilitating smoother transactions and partnerships across borders. By adhering to these internationally recognized practices, businesses can navigate the complexities of global trade with greater ease and confidence. Okay, so yeah, man, just to make a long story short, that's just some of the information. So like I said, this whole ISO 222 is gonna be big. The fact that Jasmine, allegedly they're, they're compliant, you know, this is going to be big. This is a, a step forward, you know, for the community. You know what I mean? The right here says, what is ISO 222? Okay. Um, okay, let me see. I can't. Okay. I think I got time to go to read the first paragraph. Okay. ISO 222 is an international protocol that provides a secure and standardized way of exchanging financial messages between organizations within the payment industry. Okay, the protocol will replace the 50-year-old SWIFT, just like I talked about earlier in the video. They're going to replace SWIFT, which is 50 years old. They're going to replace the 50-year-old SWIFT um, financial messaging system, which banks and other financial institutions use to faci facilitate global payments. Okay, then it says the standard addresses the need of financial services organizations looking to create a globally um, accepted messaging language. OK, because you got to think this whole when you send in messages and crypt, because if you look at crypt, the word crypto itself comes from the word, crypt, you know, cryptography and crypt, cryptography is is uh, basically you're sending a cryptic message that only the user, the, the sender and the, and the, the person that's going to receive it is going to um, is going to get. So the, that's where the word crypto comes from. Initially, that's where it comes from, you know, crypto cr cryptography. You know, the study of cryptography, when you send it an encrypted, like when you send an email to somebody, when you send a personal email to somebody, only that person is going to get that email right. And that email you send to the person is encrypted. You know, it's encrypted where only that person can send it, see that email. Unless you CCC a person, you know, when you CCC somebody in the email, that means like you're sending it to multiple, you, you want more than one person to see it. Like when you send an email, you hit CCC, CC, and then you put the person you want to CC. So the person you originally sending that email, the person that you CC, they're going to see that email as well. So you're sending the email to the original person and the person that you CC because you wanted, because I guess, you know, uh, for whatever reason, you wanted um, another person to see to see that email. But, you know, but yeah, that's, you know, that's the protocol for, you know, for email and everything. But anyways, for crypto, cryptocurrency, you know, it's like everything is encrypted. You know, this whole blockchain technology and this is what the world is. This is what everything is going to, guys. Uh, you know, like real world assets. This is going to be big, man. Uh, this is going to take the world by surprise. Uh, but anyways, uh, back to this information. So, OK, let me see here. What did I leave off? OK, the language allows them to implement their business processes and collaborate with their partners, uh, utilizing one universal platform. OK, financial institutions such as banks, uh, crypto companies and stock brokers can benefit from ISO 222. It enables efficient and effective communication across multiple departments and organizations, reducing costs associated with numerous communication systems. In addition, achieving the, uh, the interoperability between existing protocols while still having the ability to support Pacific financial businesses processes makes ISO 222 an excellent choice or any company involved in financial services. And then it says, why is ISO 222 crucial? Okay, we got time. I go ahead and go uh, get into that. I guess, you know what? Okay, we're about close to 15 minutes into the video. 
I guess this will be one of my 20 minute videos. OK, um, so here we go. So it says, why is ISO 222 crucial? OK, it says financial institutions have always had to consider te technological advances to keep up with the competition. And the new ISO 222 standard, cryptos could be assigned ISO codes if they are compliant with ISO 222. OK, so every crypto, every coin, our project, OK, look like they're going to have their own uh coin uh codes iso codes see I, we, we learned something new as i go i didn't even notice you know you know the whole thing with messaging and codes and all that I, look at all this guys all this stuff is coded man all this stuff is encrypted and coded that's what crypto is man and blockchain uh, it's all encrypted and coded man um you know this is where everything is going you know like and like that's why she, security is a very important in this space as well you know, because there's always going to be bad actors in a space, you know, with, with hackers or whatever. Uh, but anyways, leave off there. Uh, it said this could lead to an adoption by centralized banks, enable cross-border crypto payments uh, through centralized financial institutions. So this is big, guys. So originally, crypto was decentralized, right? And banks are centralized. We all know that banks are centralized. But the fact that if they start using the whole ISO 22, basically banks well banks are already starting to use crypto they they already apply for the spot bitcoin etfs so we can we can already see where everything is going right with this whole spot bitcoin etf that everybody's doing banks is already doing it countries in uh we got china uh, i think russia south korea uh brazil all these different uh singapore all these different countries are going to have the uh, the whole spot bitcoin etf so we can see where this is all going so the next step is going to be iso 222 all right uh, so this is big, you know, we got to when you really look at that wording, this could lead to adoption by centralized banks and enable cross border crypto payments through centralized um, financial um, institutions. OK. Sorry about that. I have to check something right quick. Okay. Go ahead and wrap this up. Okay. As we move, okay, this says as we move toward a new quantum financial system, okay, that's basically what we're moving to a new quantum financial system. Any third party, including cryptocurrencies, wishing to engage with them must be able to use the ISO 222 format. Uh, the standard presents an essential test for ability of institutions of all sizes to adopt and embrace uh, innovative solutions. Okay, ISO 222 is more advanced than the traditional legacy formats banks use, and that it supports more significant data. Okay, key words, guys. So the, the old SWIFT system, the, I guess their data that they used, um, this new system, to make a long story short, this new system is gonna be using a lot more data and it's going to be faster because now we got AI coming into play. So this is big. You know, I can see why they're going to be they're transitioning from the old legacy Swift um, system. And then it says uh, it supports more significant data volumes and faster processing rates. As a result, it is it is a ideal for quick payments, daily uh, liquidity management, compliance checks and, and fraud detection and, pre and prevention all demands. And then it says overall ISO 222 represents an opportunity and challenge for companies wishing to stay ahead of their peers regarding technology. So, you know, as the world moves forward, guys, technology is expanding and cryptocurrency is, is what's pushing this technology, man. Uh, like I said, this whole ISO thing, it's going to be big. So they're going to be eventually they're going to be transitioning from the old SWIFT system and moving on to the new. ISO 222. And this is, and honestly, guys, this is the beginning of the, uh, when you think about it, this is the beginning of the fourth industrial revolution, you know, with the AIs and all that. Um, you, you know, this whole digital transformation, you know, with the fourth industrial revolution. So you gotta, you gotta look at the big picture now. I'm looking at the big picture. This is part of the fourth industrial revolution, you know, with, you know, Web3, AI and all that, real world assets. This is where everything is going over the next like 
five to ten years, man, this is where everything is going. And we're they're they're getting everything in place now. So the fact that Jasmine is going to be part of this, this is going to be big, man. Uh, this is definitely going to be big. And, you know, when you really think about the big picture, you know, the whole cryptocurrency and ISO and all this and cross-border payments, man, this is like everybody who's in crypto now, we're ahead of the game. We're early because we know that this is the future, even though mainstream media is not talking about it. So, yeah, guys, and here's a little diagram. It shows a diagram right here where you can see how it all works. There is SWIFT right here. It says all financial institutions processing SWIFT MT category. One, two, and nine must proceed ISO 222 by November of 22, of 22. Okay. So everything has been in place for the last couple of years. And then it says several low value and instant payment machines have already migrated to ISO 222. So, yeah, so different like systems has already migrated. And then it says 70 plus countries are already using the ISO 222 in their payment systems. Yeah, guys. So America, man, they better get on board, man. They better stop dragging their feet in the, here in the United States or if they want to go backward. Because other countries, like I know, like in Southeast Asia and some of that, like Asian countries, they're already using the system, guys. This whole like ISO 222 system, 70 plus countries are already in. They already migrated. They're not using the old SWIFT uh, system anymore, guys. So even, you know, I'm glad I did this video. This is one of my important Jasmine videos to date, honestly. Uh, but yeah, man, this is this is going to be big and this is going to be the future of money and blockchain like, you know, um, you know, like so much for the days of of having physical cash, you know, like um, this is like like I'm at the point now where I don't even like holding cash no more. Why? Everything is digital. I'll use your card, you know, use I could use my crypto debit card to make payments and stuff like that, you know, my Coinbase card. And I'm telling you, and then when you send money. The people like think about it. Somebody you could, you know, send money to a relative or a friend. That's that could be on another part of the of, of the globe, on another part of planet Earth, and you send them money and they get it within seconds. You know, think about it. You send somebody money and it'll be on another part. They could be in a whole another different part of the world and they'll get the money in seconds. This is what this is, guys. You know, this is the new system, the fourth industrial revolution. You know, but unfortunately, the United States. They're, they're dragging their feet with the SEC, with, with with XRP. You know, you look at XRP, XRP should be at least at about $5 a coin right now. <laughs> you know, the fact that, you know, they, United States, they're just, you know, that's why this election is going to be very important. I, I just hope, like I said, other countries is already adopting this technology because they know this is, this is the real deal and this is the truth. But it's nice to know that Jasmine is going to be part of it. You know, like I said, Asia... Asia, all these different Southeast Asian countries. I think uh, I'm not. I think South America. Then you got, um, of course, Brazil. They've been crypto friendly. Uh, I, I guess the United States is going to be the last country to adopt this system. I guess I don't know the old. I guess the old rich bankers here in the states. They they, they don't want to let go, man. They don't want to let go. Uh, I, one thing I noticed about them, they don't like technology. If something something new comes along. And like that's better. That's like 10 times better, more faster and efficient. I noticed that they don't like it. Like you look at people like Warren Buffett, man, Warren Buffett. Uh, you know, he's like uh, what? he's like the, the face of the stock market. Right. For a long time. But he had nothing positive to say about cryptocurrency. You know, it's not really cryptocurrency. Really, it's the technology It's what's really what's behind it. The blockchain. And we know that this is the future. But eventually those old guys, those old guys in the suits, they're going to have to let go eventually because their days are numbered. They're going to be, you know, they're about to get replaced because this whole fourth industrial revolution. Hey, this is what's this is what's happening, man. This is what's happening, guys. But anyways, man. Uh, well, I'm already uh, 24 minutes into the video. But yeah, that, you know, uh, this is one of my important Jasmine videos. Just wanted to break it down about everything with this whole ISO. Hey, but by, by by even me dropping this video, I learned something. I learned a couple of the new things that I didn't know about the whole ISO 222. And come to find out, this is big. You know, this is a lot bigger than what I thought, man. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of more information here. You know, go do your research, guys. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying exactly. Go do your own research. That's the reason we have the internet. I, I, this information I actually pulled up on Google 
I typed in Jasmine ISO 222 and all this came up. So guys, this is going to be big. You know, they talk about the whole messaging. Every coin is going to have a, its own like code, me messaging code and stuff like that. Matter of fact, I'm going to I need to go back and do some more study on that stuff. This is big, man. Uh, they're talking about data, data extensions. It, it goes on and on what this is all about. But anyway, guys, that is my update on Jasmine and the whole how they're they, they're going to you know be part of the whole ISO 222. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the like button for post notification. I hope this video was helpful. Jasmine, wow, Jasmine is actually almost back up to two cents. It's up 11.5% for the day, and it's up 2.1% for the hour. So, yeah, guys, that's my take on Jasmine and the crypto market. Subscribe, hit the like button. Hey, I do this, man. Uh, support the channel. Uh, get the channel membership, $3 a month. Uh, I'm going to be dropping more content, uh, more private content to the channel members. And also PayPal and Cash App is in the description. Hey, man, uh, thanks for tuning in. That is my update on Jasmine and, and its connection to the whole ISO uh, 222. I need to go do some more reading because there's a lot of information on this. But hey, I will see you guys um, um, in the next one. Hope everybody have a good Wednesday. Peace.